Oh, it's fucking Stripe Crow. He's downloading. Yeah, it's fine now. What was I talking about? Uh oh. Yeah, people talk. <laughs> I don't know. Any, anytime. How do I want to word what I want to say? Basically, whenever fans talk about the like game, especially competitive, um, I don't know. I, I just I don't think it's worth pros taking it very seriously because, like, obviously from fans' point of view, things look a certain way, and I can't fault anyone for seeing the game their own way. You know, like everyone has their own idea of how leagues meant to be played, and so I think it's I think it's fine to have opinions. It's good to talk about the game. But like whenever people ask like or try to like make claims about like who the best player is, a lot a lot of times I feel like from the outside, unless you've really played competitively, you can't really judge it. Like even the casters I feel like get a lot of stuff wrong. So I don't know. I think it's really hard from the outside to tell how good players are or how good that sort of thing is. Like a lot of times the best players aren't really judged on their skill. Like people people are really fast just like look at stats and use that as their entire claim for why someone's good. So I don't know. I, I just don't take it very seriously, I guess. There's just a lot of things that even some pro players don't understand about the game. And, and that's actually what I love about competitive. It's just like, the more you play, the more you understand. And like some things that might look stupid to you one day make so much sense the next day. And whenever you have these like mental clicks and like you learn something new, so satisfying. Now, are you right now? <laughs> Best stealth draft ever. Thanks for carrying my team, BB. Nice. Would I say all casters are like that? <laughs> I mean, the point I'm making is not that casters are bad or anything like that, because I think they do their job pretty well of just, you know, giving commentary to the game. I'm just saying from like a, a truly skill perspective, it's I think it's very hard as an outsider to make judgments on how good players are. Because you just, I don't know, you don't have the criteria to judge them by, I guess. Like, pe people don't look on the right, like, checklist or whatever for, like, what makes a player good. Because there's a lot of things that make players good or not so good. And a lot of it you can't even tell from the outside. Like, you don't know how well a player communicates or anything like that. Shit, what do I play? What do I think are good things to judge players on? Uh, uh, I'm always worried about saying something wrong because I haven't really thought out this whole thing that well. So I, I might not iterate myself correctly. But um, 
some things that I think don't get talked about enough is um, the expected result of things, like based on champions. Because, you know, players do influence the game a lot, but a lot of times I'll hear casters like... Well, I almost just closed out my OBS. Um, I'll hear casters like emphasize uh, like players being really good if it's like a totally one-sided matchup and the expected side wins it, right? It's like uh, I hear a lot of junglers who get in Italy every game, they're like praised like, wow, getting so much CS up on the other jungler, and it's like, Elise isn't the farm jungler Nidalee is, that's not actually a good metric to judge their skill. So like, I feel like taking expected results and then seeing how players do compared to their respective result of, of certain matchups is a much better way to do it. But the thing is, like, unless you're a pro player, pro player you don't really know what things are, how things are supposed to go a lot of the time. Like, And I, I don't hear it really get talked about very much either, like from casters, just like, oh, it's Nidalee into Kindred. Like, Nidalee should win this, but if Kindred can survive through the early game, then that's really good on him. It's like basically talking about like what's supposed to happen in the matchup if played correctly and then like pinpointing the mistakes made by players because that that's the mistakes that matter that's like what makes you good and bad but i don't hear that get talked about very often at all but i guess it's my opinion Ooh, i got a few resubs Ao Plague Spree and Casey Royal Double O Seven. Thank you for the resubs. Oh, you fucking so stick forever. Shit in my mouth. I mean, casters are there to entertain, so. I I don't think they really have to talk about like the super in-depth things because most people just have never played competitive league so it's impossible for them to actually know about it. I don't even know what I'm ranting about, rambling on about. A lot of times I get these like thoughts in my head but if I don't think about it a lot I just sort of like s spit out info without really making it coherent. So just ignore me. It's a Rengar. The fuck? Thank you, Mom. Little early, but thank you. It's not my birthday yet. My, the 13th is my birthday. For me, it's 10 p.m., so two hours. Harry says hi, look at your phone. I saw that you texted, but I didn't really read it. Fuck, I started W and he's like hardcore freezing the lane. I don't know if he's gonna try to fuck me or what. Don't really play versus Rengar top ever. He intentionally is pulling the lane, but not really. 
he's also pushing it. I don't know what the point of what he did was. He like froze it, but then pushed. How the fuck am I not level two? Is my question. Suck balls, I'm out. I have to TB back in. Hmm. What do I want? He's gonna TB back in, so there's no point checking myself that bad, even though I just did. I was debating between cloth armor and ruby. I don't know what I'm supposed yeah, to max. You butt munching prostitute, I love seeing you playing and doing so well again. Nothing but love for you, M E M E O O O O S. Thanks, dude. It's very nice of you to say. Max W. Just controlling. Controlling these traits is so hard. He has TP, so I'm gonna take some level of dick from that gank. Oh, I didn't have enough for BME Cinder. Sad boys. This is pretty bad for me, I think. Did he TP? I don't think so. He got back fast. Not, not as fast as he would have TP. Ninety percent chance he is down there. Guess I just have to push. Oh, he died, nice.
I messed this up. I thought I could push fast enough. He's gonna get here then. Get all this it's a huge wave. I should have just froze. I don't. Fuck. Ooh. Yeah, he lost nothing for that. That was like a pretty huge mistake that I did that just let him get that huge wave. Which I'm lucky. Should be able to dive him. His flash might be hard. I'm gonna. S I think it's a safe assumption if he TP'd Dua and died that he used flash. Ooh. Hmm. What did you second? Probably E, I think, but let me look. That's really good buy. I'm looking at Impact's Fizz build. Let's see, Impact did W first, E second. So I'm doing alright. J Bach, I thank you for the sub. Impact ran EP blues, hybrid pen reds. Interesting. I did not have a page like that at all. Actually, I probably had some Elise page that was close to that. Probably CDR blues instead of AP though. This is weird. I'm so confused. Jacob Kearney, thank you for the 9 3 sub. Is this Dardock? Does anyone know?
I think TPing. My TP was late, but the idea of TPing was right. I don't know if I should have cancelled it though, because just me starting the TP made Ash die. And then to kill Trundle, I had to flash ult. And the TP went on full cooldown. I think cancelling the TP would have been better. items now. There's no chance in hell he can fight me now. We should be getting here soon. I'm hungry as hell. Not the most calculated shit I've ever done. Damn, that sucks balls. I was banking on the jungler not being there because the lane was so lost, but he was. So I got cucked. It's not really weird the Hecarim was there. I guess he expected me to do that. And expected Lee to not be there. Steel Sings, thanks to the 3 3 sub. I should just worry that first, I guess. Pretty avoidable death. I want to dive him. <laughs> the Lucian lane gang.
Holy shit, this is a really offensive hacker on build. Warrior into Trinity. Do not try this at home. I think a good chance Rengar's here. I think wait, Rengar can kill Lucian or he can fuck me if I try this dive. I think he has a lot of good options. Hello, Mr. Memeo. It's most likely I hope though. You have a fantastic birthday. Lucian top. Why do you think TSM has been doing so well thus far this split? Uh, just playing the game correctly, basically. No specific reason, they just understand how to play the game, and they're doing it better than everyone else. Shit. What is this fight? Ring or... Ah, oh, he can't kill me. Should've went in earlier. Go Trinity. That guy here is have no more. This is the greediest shit ever. Sting. Can't do more than this wave, I just saw them here. Doing this with no vision is greedy, doing it with vision of them being here is stupid. Oh shit. Hot mana. What is this guy doing? I think I'm dead actually. <laughs> okay, bro. Let's say that one. Have to sell the cloth unless we get a fat kill on a spree. Okay. I need a ward. I'm the hero. Oh my god, that's Delta. One sec. Holy shit, my food's been here for a while. Because it came like 15 minutes after I ordered it. I didn't think it was mine.
Hi, Calamity. Thank you for the three month resub. He's from Mars, you're just gonna long dick my asshole. Okay, that's gone. Hungry for this shit. Can feel my decision making getting worse. I just got all oh, shit. This game's getting thrown hardcore. Notice how I said getting thrown rather than I'm throwing. Makes it sound better. Alright. I'm getting sad. I think we're like behind now even. So many chain deaths. There's no way you can survive a girl, unless he's grouped. Daddy can kill me. Actually, I have no fucking idea. Probably not. I'd be surprised. Okay, I need a fucking ward. Alright. Some sad shit. I 
think I want to flash on this guy. Feel when you get long dicked by the Zonia Karma in a world where we don't need locket, one Zonia will rule them all. I may have been splitting bot as a support and got assassinated, but we got Hecarim's ghost. So it's cool. Happy birthday, good sir. Seems like we share the same day. P.S. Brenda Lannis says that she loves you, Tilda. Thank you, and a happy birthday to yourself as well. Alanis. Let's see, I know your friend. I need a GA. I mean, it's all so weird. This skill shot, where you also have to judge the depth. Oh, fuck my ass. I might not be getting out of this one alive. It's been real. Fuck, okay. Alright, he has no flashes, Sam. Wait, I just remember I trolled the fuck out of my ult that fight. Butter their bread. I could TP in right here. Go for the big dick play. I'm doing it. There's no way Ash doesn't go for this red. He's a pussy. Oh, not a red up. I discovered why he didn't go for it.
He has Zonia. Could flash for him. Oh, nine so hot for me though. Awesome. Great time. <laughs> that went okay. I made a lot of mistakes, actually. But I haven't really played much Fizz. Alright, um... I'm gonna AFK for a little bit to eat. Ten minute break probably. I'll be back though. Alright, I'll be right back. Thanks for watching.
This is the long ten minutes. too fast. I doubt that's healthy. Marina Hawk, thank you for the 913 sub. What did I eat? <clears throat> chicken tikka masala. Basically, chicken curry with rice and bread. None. Tastes good, man. I haven't had it in a while. It actually reminded me of my dog, my mom's dog, Charlie. Because I was, basically I started eating it when he visited. Archangel Adams, thank you for the sub. Welcome. <laughs> Wait. Mariner Hawksing, that's not how you say his name.
like mariner or mariner depends how i read it <clears throat> Mariner, Mariner. I guess it just depends where you put the accent. Um, How does communication work between the team and the impact? Uh, I mean, his English isn't bad. It's not his first language, obviously, but we have a we have a way to make it work. Every once in a while, something gets lost in translation, but it's usually pretty fine. He has his he has like his own terms for everything. So, so fucking funny like <laughs> instead of saying down he always says downstairs <laughs> so he says like go down he's like go downstairs go downstairs <laughs> I don't think, and no one has a heart to correct him because it's funny as fuck Has he picked up on the dank memes yet? Yeah, I mean, I'd say everyone memes eventually. <laughs> what other things like that does he do? Uh... I don't know exactly. You'd have to ask him. Or just, he streams sometimes. Just check out his stream. He's just another dude. He's not like some <laughs> exhibit. I'm not like they're sitting there observing and writing down everything he does. Reading a Reddit post from Valkrin, where he says he doesn't queue up when autofill is enabled. I, I, I'm so confused by this, because I see people complain about long queue times, and they complain about autofill. Like, how does that make sense? Autofill is the solution to long queue times. I think people miss that. Like, no one's weighing the pros and cons of things that they want to complain about. They're only looking at the cons of everything. They don't even acknowledge the good things that are coming out of it, which I think in turn makes Riot sort of like go deaf to the complaints, because if you're not even going to like rationally think about what you're saying, then no one's going to take you seriously. That's how it kind of seems to me. I don't know how the hell you can complain about long queues and autofill simultaneously. There's just no way.
Instead of autofill, I think you should be able to queue for three rolls. I don't think that would help very much because the big issue that I see with the new queuing system is the fact that just nobody wants to do support. Nobody wants to do fill. Because fill is support. And even if you could queue for three rolls, it's like, it's not going to really change anything. It's just going to like make more people off roll top. It'll be like, almost everyone puts mid as their secondary. And if you're mid, you put AD as your secondary. And it'll just, people will just add top to it. It's like, jungle mid, top. AD mid, top. Top mid, bot. Or top mid, jungle. It's, I don't think that's a very elegant solution. Because I actually think there are a lot of people that wouldn't mind filling, like myself. I'm fine playing like two support games a day. Like I, I don't mind that much. But the problem is if I queue fill, I get like eight support games per day. I get more support than jungle. And I think that's the flaw. Which I think auto auto fills pretty reasonable. I haven't had to play support that much. I don't I don't really see why it's triggering people so hard. It's literally Riot trying to fix the problem. But it seems like people are pretty tunnel vision on Riot being the devil, so everything they do is bad. But what do I know? I think if people like <clears throat> take a second to actually think about what the problems are, like the things they're truly unhappy about, and then think about like all the pros and cons associated with whatever system they think is flawed, you know, like if dynamic queue is flawed, what are the good things about dynamic queue? What are the bad things about dynamic queue? You have to like look at both sides because if you get rid of dynamic queue and just bring back only solo queue, it's like that would make some people happy. There are some people who really want that, but. There are a lot of people who don't want that. There's a lot of people who actually just enjoy playing the game with their friends. And those people get fucked over just to make an another group of people happy. And then you could say, oh, well, you can have dynamic queue for the people who want it and solo queue for the people who want it. But then everyone gets fucked over because there's super long queue times. Like, anytime I see these complaints and discussions about it, it seems like everyone just doesn't actually understand what they're talking about. Reckless PN, thank you for the sub. Like, anytime there's a problem, I think it's really important to identify the actual problem. Like, w w what is the thing that people are actually unhappy with? And, you know, like, with the issue of high elo, it's like, there's a lot of, a lot of variables at play. There's like, so before, we had solo and duo queue, and you didn't queue as a roll. So you would fill, like, all the time. You would commonly get four jungle mains on your team. That happened to me so often before the new champs like came out. I would like lose games all the fucking time because I had three, four jungle mains on my team at all points in time. And that sucks dick. The new Q system actually fixed that issue somewhat. Like, it helped that issue for sure. Uh, and in exchange, it made the Q times way longer because now you'll get better matched games, more main rolls. But because there's not that many support players playing, or, or like, People just don't like playing support. No one queues does it. Uh, queues take really long because you need so two support per game. And if there's like two support total queuing and then like 
10 or 20 of every other old queuing, it's like, of course your queues are going to take a really long time because no one wants to play support. But like, I almost feel like people don't think about it when they argue. They're just like, ah, fuck this shit. I want everything all the time, even if it doesn't make sense. So, that's <clears throat> sort of how I see it. Um, I think, you know, one solution is they could just make support a more fun role. Like, right? Riot controls everything about their game. I think there's a lot of ways you can just make support a fun role. Because it seems like anytime support's actually good, all the support items are, just get used in other roles. Like, when Frost Queen's claim was good, and people were playing brand support and Nami support and actually dicking on people, uh, like, I was spamming Nami, and I thought support was a good time back then, but then they just nerfed the shit out of it. They're like, oh, well, mid laner's using this item, so... In my opinion, they come up with an, a non-elegant solution, because... What they wanted to do was fix Frost Queen's claim being used in the mid lane, but in exchange they fuck support in the ass. And so, I, I think the big thing that Riot needs to like work on is just what I like to call elegant solutions. Just a solution that only fixes the problem with no collateral damage. Because almost everything, anything you change about the game is going to have some sort of collateral damage. Like some unexpected thing happened. Like, uh, I, I was a big advocate of Black Cleaver changes, you know, like, buff Black Cleaver, maybe Black Cleaver users will become stronger. When in reality, it didn't actually help any of the Black Cleaver users, it just made Lucian insane and Zed insane. So, like, whoops. You know, a lot of times, uh, unforeseen things will actually go wrong with solutions that you think will fix things. And that's all what to being a designer is all about. Like, right now, I don't know shit about game design, I've never worked at Riot, those people are probably way smarter than I am. But... I can recognize when it, there's like an elegant solution or something. And I feel like a lot of the stuff they've been doing is like, they could probably be doing it better. Because I, I think that support's just not fun, which is why people aren't queuing for it. So I think if they just change the game to make support more fun, you'd have more support players. Which is my two cents. Like, Thresh is one of the most fun supports that I think almost <clears throat> every player likes playing. Because, like, he's so satisfying to hit hooks on and, like, make big plays. He's super flashy. Ooh, and there it is. Riot heard me say, auto fills tight. Just, like, put it up my ass. Whatever. It's fine. But, like, Thresh is super fun. But then you play him, and you're like, hmm. Do I, I take Targons. And I piss off my AD if I ever miss the last hit with my 50 damage auto. Or I take a coin and I just get shit on in lane. And I scaled by everyone. So, I don't know. I think there's definitely a solution to all the problems people are having. Hopefully Riot's working on that. I, ex I expect they are. I don't really know shit about what's going on at Riot, but... um. Yeah, that's how I feel about it. There's literally no troll summer you can take anymore. Mr. Crab 69, thank you for the 3 month resub. I actually kind of like when uh, support is like a lot of just mages that aren't really good mages, you know, like shit like Brand Velkaz, Vizyra. I think those are like pretty interesting supports.
And I think a lot of more people would like playing support if those are the kind of viable champions they had to work with. I'd probably play Thrush every game if my AD carry knew how to AD carry. Well, I mean, I think that's kind of a, a weird way to look at it. Because if you're in ELO where your AD carry doesn't know how to AD carry, then their AD carry probably also doesn't know how to AD carry. And if you're the better support, you can usually win bot lane. Oh, Bard actually sucks balls against Thrush. I need something tanky. Have a good night, Kid Cuddy. Thanks for stopping by. You want to see? I don't even want to play Vi. I, I played her the other day. It was the butthole. It might still be my match history. Uh, no, luckily it's not. Unless it was on a different account. I don't see it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think Vi is very good.
Did I feel the earthquake everyone on Twitter is freaking out about? I think I was still sleeping when that went on. I didn't feel it. I don't think I was awake for it. Vi has been wrecking Korean solo queue. Mm, I don't know. She, she, she's just not a good duelist. I think that's her biggest problem. If she could duel, she might be viable, but... I don't know. She, she kind of just gets walked over by everybody. If she misses her queue, or gets avoided, or flashed, or anything, she just loses every fight. And a, and a big issue with Vi is like, it's, it's kind of the same issue with Rengar, where you have this play pattern where you want to like rush till 6 and then try to ult people, but from a laning perspective, say your laning is Vi, right? Like, you don't really have to be scared of her early game, because from the Vi's perspective, she doesn't really want to get in early game fights, because she loses all of them. So Vi is probably not going to go for too many ganks, because... You're in the off chance of running into the enemy jungler, and that shit sucks. And you want to rush six as po fast as possible, which is usually the just you farm to get that. So if you're playing against Vi, you understand her play, play patterns. She's probably not going to gank too much. You can play really aggressive in lane. And then she's going to gank when she's six. If you're the jungler against Vi, you, you don't have to really worry about getting counter ganked too much. Uh, and then by the time she's six, you just want to have established vision control, which almost every single jungler who's decent can do. And then you find Vi, uh, when her ult's up, you just like, go fight her. She has to ult you to even stand a chance of fighting you. If it doesn't win her the game, she just is useless all game. So that's, that's kind of like an example of why I don't think she's a very good champion. Just way too predictable and counterable. Just very low pressure. She, she only has pressure if, like, the enemy team is extremely bad and doesn't know how to ward for her, doesn't know how to harass her, doesn't know how to, like, capitalize on her farm patterns. Didn't realize Vi's early game is so mediocre. I mean, the, the, the biggest issue is her Q cooldown is actually insane. And so, like, if you're farming, right, like, you almost always use your Q on the mobs, and it starts at, like, a 15-second cooldown or something insane. I, I don't know the number on it. I just know it's very long. It's probably not 15, though. Her Q is... It's an 18-second cooldown rank 1. And you have to use this, like, your highest damage spell, your gap closer, just to farm. And so, like, you almost always have your Q down. And so if someone finds you without your Q, like, you, you can't do anything to them. And you can't really farm without your Q, it's not really a viable option either, so... I don't know, she's just really vulnerable when she's clearing. Uh, it's also her escape, so... 
There's, I think there's a lot of reasons why a champion sucks balls. Not to mention in team fights, like, you either don't do any damage or you die in one hit. Vi was decent and competitive at one point in time. I think it was like before Rek'Sai existed, though. Because there, there's a lot of, of early game junglers now that weren't really around back then. You know, like, Elise was always very good against Vi. She's been around for a long time. Uh, Gragas wasn't really around. Graves, Fuxer, Kindred, Nidalee. The whole fam. Whole world. Oh, we're going to rise. That's what I like to call a good time. I don't really have an Olaf page. Keep in mind when I'm when I talk about stuff like this, these are just like my opinions. Doesn't mean it's 100% right. Doesn't mean if you, if you like Vi, you shouldn't play her because Media said he doesn't think she's good. Just what I think of the champ. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. What kind of buffs would she need? Uh. Well, I mean, d depends what you mean by need, because, uh, you know, you could buff literally anything about a champion to make them stronger, but what I think is more important than just making them strong is making them, like, strong and feel good to play slash play against, like, make them feel rewarding to play and not oppressive to play against, and usually it's pretty hard to find that balance. Like when Vi's alt is a really short cooldown, she's super oppressive to play against. She just like spam alts your ass. Meanwhile, your first time Lee Sin is like dying to Krugs. I've actually seen Jace jungle. I haven't really tried it. I don't know. I think he probably has some mana issues. And Jace isn't even like that good of a champion in lane either. Fun my last game. Gotta sleep after this.
No master emote. Did he get fucking gangbing by Rise or is he AFK? when you get cucked. Graves might invade me. Start healing up. It's better to be low HP on Olaf because you're passive. Kind of like Zack. But like, it's also good to not be dead. <clears throat> You get a BME Cinder, but I like this buy better. It's less like overall strength, more mobility and sustain. Also delays the Cinder Hulk a bit, but <clears throat> not a big deal. It's not that big of a spike anyway. Guess Rise just DC'd. It's pretty lame. I don't remember if Ash flashed, I don't think he had a reason to. How does he have plus three armor? I would even give that.
Or do you think I was gonna die? Like, was he hitting me? Is this gonna kill me? What a normal game now, but not really. I'm not gonna gank him mid for a while. If I was DC, I wouldn't want someone ganking me. Too obnoxious. too far. Mm. Down much of this stuff, so... I actually think Tabby might be worth considering in a game like this. So good against these three champs. Oh shit. The counter DC. Dragon's just quick dicking my ass. This is a really shitty dragon call, actually. So weird, actually, both mid laners have DC'd. <clears throat> That's on me.
What an awful game. Multiple DCs. <laughs> yeah, say having having the DC feels worse than being against the DC. So lame. Every like minute, just get revealed. I don't actually have all. Dude, that hurt to witness. Oh man, I just got stage four. Oh my god, this game is a lit shit show. I'm like honestly just in shock that Zillion didn't all me. I don't even know if I can re mentally recover from that one. Have all the thing killing. planning on killing himself to freeze this. It's not worth it all.
Definitely would have seen me if he's paying attention. So it's a fun way to die. <laughs> That's actually pretty obnoxious for him. Holy shit. So he gets her fucking finding me in my jungle every two seconds. What's happening to our base, by the way? Just lost four turrets. The Clip Tip Squad, thanks for the 10 month resub. Hirashi, thank you for the sub. Wait, Jarwin didn't take the Herald. What the fuck? Did Graves take it? Doesn't really make sense. One of these fights, he'll use his ult. He can't simply not ult ever. Latro Toxin, thank you for the sub, welcome. Dude, is, is he ever gonna use his ult? Okay, now he's like griefing or what? I'm gonna be dead. Oh shit, just flashed on me. That's one way to throw the fuck out of the game.
Maybe Frozen Heart would be good here. Didn't really get any components for it though. I have a lot of MR for not really having any MR items. I don't think it's possible for me to die with Ghost and Alta, unless I'm like in a really fucking terrible spot. But I, I can be pretty aggressive and still not die. I guess Jarvan ult can fuck my ass pretty hard. Fucking dogging a Ramus. Use your ult, Ramus. <laughs> I'm so confused. He could have killed him if he just ulted him right away. down. Ah. I see. I think it's enough soul key for one night. Shields are so huge. Games like these make me kind of understand how someone can become an alcoholic. There's some things you just can't cope with sober.
feel like we don't scale well at all. Audible, thank you for the 313 sub. Goodbye to him. Guy fast enough. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can really get in that ass without just insta feeding either. Which was a better better visual indicator for how many stacks of graves e, e he had up. I don't like having to click him. To see how if he has plus 120 MR or not. Jarvin, but I'll take it. I guess I the Ramus. It's pretty good against your team. Didn't really think about that. Rise did kind of suicide last fight, though. Rise will always instant die. Don't know about that one. I feel like if anyone to instant die, he's like the second hardest to instant die. Pretty high level now from all these random kills. I saw you are selling sunglasses on your website and with my luck today when I was dancing to sneak as weed music they flew off and broke on the floor of the stripper club so would your sunglasses provide the s wag needed for stripper clubs? Yes. else answer that question than a big old yes
panties get pulled down. Holy shit, that double bomb is dank. Fuck the cube. I think I bring damage pretty low. Holy shit, this is slow as hell. <laughs> They're gonna be here by the time I die, it's holy shit, this is bad. I'm just yellow this, we're not gonna get it at all. Happy birthday, you big boy. Get ready for your 23 birthdays, thanks. Thank you. Happy birthday to you as well. Yeah, goodbye. Feels birthday, man. <laughs> Twenty-three years old. It's too old. We just lose. <laughs> the end didn't look great, but it didn't look like we'd instant lose from it. <laughs> I'm gonna go jump off my balcony now. <laughs> Thank you for the happy birthdays. Right, I was at 99 LP before. Nice work this weekend. Really looking forward to this series against TSM next week. We'll offer hand jobs if you can get Sven to jungle Gragas again. No kappa. Okay. Um. <laughs> if you can get a spend at jungle gray, I guess again. I, I I've seen his gray. I guess it's actually really good. He had some like unlucky games last play, but <laughs> it's not like an indication of his skill. Here are my 23 spankaroonies or whatever it is anyway, take my money. Thank you. <laughs> Kiwi Moose 1, thank you for 3 3 sub. Hmm. 
and happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Alright, well, that's gonna be it for my stream tonight. Uh, I'll probably do a stream tomorrow. The birthday stream. <laughs> Here's my second donation for you. Can I get a Sofa King shout out in the chat, Kappa? <laughs> Alright. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I'll be back tomorrow. Probably after scrims. I don't know. I don't know what my schedule is tomorrow. But you will know. Follow on Twitch. Follow on Twitter. And I hope you all have a great night. Thank you for watching. <laughs>